Hello, wonderful people, and welcome back to Master Detective Archive Cold Rain. Um, what? You want me to search again? What's the point of that? I'm sorry. I got yelled at. About your power. I can only project my own memories. Unfortunately, I can't show things I myself don't know. In other words, I cannot tell if there are other passengers besides us. Oh, Zongi's photography power probably. Um, could you? That's not possible. With no, a unless you're hiding a mouse inside your pocket. Right. Hmm. Zilch's power to control. I swear that's a reference to something right there, aside from Stuart Little. Um, Melamy, could your powers be used to see if anyone else is on board? No way. Not unless there's someone dead in one of the cars. But even if they were, their clothing would still need to be a match for me. Melamy's medium powers won't... Um, Pucci. Would it be possible for you to verify what Aphex said is true? Yes. I, Pucci, was contemplating it at the moment. Even if someone is hiding, my audio aptitude is able to detect their breathing and heartbeats. Shall I try? Yes, please. Hey, what's with the gloomy little girl? Don't tell me she's motion sick. She's using her audio aptitude to check if there are other passengers. Oh, really? That's great. Go for it. It'll prove I'm right. Shut. Huh? Shut up, you brain dead idiots! Pardon me. Would you mind quieting down for a bit? I need to concentrate. My, my. Looks like Poochie has a bite to her. This sensation. I felt it when Aphex used his powers. Somehow, it feels like I can hear what Poochie hears. Does no one else hear it? What's going on? I finished. I cannot hear the heartbeats of anyone besides the six of us here. Though one could hold their breath, they still cannot stop their heart from beating. In other words, there's no one else on this train. I, Pucci, guarantee it. See? I told you so! Sorry for calling you gloomy earlier, little girl. You know, I'm glad you've confirmed my findings, but... Aren't our powers kind of the same? Not really. Far from it. You literally detect the essence of life itself. Which, by all accounts, makes you more effective. Her powers require more work on her part. You know, because she actually has to listen and process the information properly, and like yours, which is just essentially. Uh. What would be the most accurate word to describe your power? Life detection hack? I guess? I can hear heartbeats from 500 meters away. <laughs> so you're the useless one. <laughs> Quiet, you catty bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Moving on, we've now got proof from two master detectives. We can say for sure that there are no other passengers. Though one may be a lying imposter, the other's statement can still be trusted. One of them, an imposter? But Aphex and Poochie both use their fortes. I could feel them using their powers, so I think it's safe to say both are master detectives. 
but I'm the only one who can sense their powers. No one else seems to have the same experience. Why am I the only one? Well, that probably means your forte is something like synthesis. You sync up with other fortes. <laughs> What's wrong with you, old man? You gone senile or something? Can you all hear that? The sounds of a running train. The wheels of fate chugging along. In the same way, our fate continues to turn. This train will press on until we reach our destination. No one can get off midway, including the uninvited sixth. Let's discover which of us is the caged bird in here. <laughs> My fading detective spirit is revitalized once again thanks to this burning mystery. I really like the voice acting. It's really good. Not bad. Things are getting interesting. You're joking. What could the imposter even accomplish? We're all master detectives here. And yet we don't know who the fake one is. I've used my power, so obviously I'm the real deal. The gloomy girl detective also passes. She ain't no fake. So, how about the guy blowing smoke, huh? Why don't you go ahead and prove yourself with your forte? How about it, you four-eyed fox detective? As I have already explained, my power involves animals. Without them, I can't use it. So, you're fine being considered a suspect, then? You are free to think what you wish. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't prove myself either. Without a dead body, I can't use my powers as a medium. Now we've got two suspects. How about you, old man? I don't mind showing off, but it won't clear any suspicions. The sixth uninvited guest could possibly be a traitorous master detective with their own forte. Oh yeah, that's a good point. That's true. Dang, there's no end to this! To hell with it! Everybody line up! I'll deck you one by one! That isn't gonna solve anything! Whoever passes out is safe, got it? The real deal! If you don't pass out in one hit, then you gotta be the imposter! That's a really stupid way to... Calm down. Let's do things logically, like the detectives we are. Pardon me. I suggest we investigate this, starting with the motive for the imposter's infiltration. Hmm, the motive. One possibility is that it's a test from the World Detective Organization. Are there any others? There are. You may speak. I'll allow it. For the hundredth time, why would they need your permission? The Amaterasu Corporation. They could be responsible for this. And your reasoning? Someone has been tailing me for the past few days. It started after I was first assigned to Kanai Ward. Wherever I went, I could sense the presence of someone in the shadows. But I could never catch them in the act. It was getting annoying, so I tried to bait them out. I walked around town in my underwear. And at last, they revealed themselves. Wait, what? <laughs> Why? Hold on. Did you just say that you are? No, that's not the part I'm questioning. I'm questioning why would they break break their uh, their streak of stalking her successfully just because she was in her underwear? Hmm? Something the matter? <clears throat> Never mind. Continue. I avoid solving problems with violence, so I was unable to apprehend them. However, I saw them escaping in one of Amaterasu Corporation's cars with my own eyes. Why would Amaterasu Corp spy on you? Because they don't want Kanai Ward to be investigated. Perhaps this is the same situation. Which is why I think our uninvited sixth guest is a spy from Amaterasu. The spy has only one goal to disrupt our trip to Kanai Ward. Hence why they are pretending to be a master detective among us. Hmm, so you believe Amaterasu is involved? Not impossible, though your reasoning is somewhat lacking. I do not see how escaping in one of Amaterasu Corporation's cars 
as proof someone is a company spy. Well, that's fair. Um, excuse me. You keep talking about it, but what's Amaterasu Corporation? Are you kidding me? We gotta explain that too? It's fine. We can teach Yuma as we share information with one another. What is the Amaterasu Corporation? In short, Amaterasu is a freaking huge company. You see their products practically everywhere in daily life. They make everything from kids' toys to fighter jets, industrial goods, electronics, pharmaceuticals, everything. Big companies always got dark underbellies. With Amaterasu, with their smoke, there's a whole building burning down. Ah, that's a detective joke. Funny, huh? Not really. Sure, I got it, thanks. We're heading to Kanai Ward. What does that have to do with Amaterasu Corporation? It's fairly complicated, but Kanai Ward is essentially an Amaterasu Autonomous Zone. Previously, Kanai Ward was just another regional city. But as it was being developed by Amaterasu Corp, the city itself transformed. Factories, research labs, and affiliate companies were built. In no time, the whole place belonged to Amaterasu. As a matter of fact, Kanai Ward is essentially ruled by the Amaterasu Corporation. Political power has no influence there. Since it's so isolated, no one has been traveling to and from Kanai Ward. Isolated? Exactly. Because of that, no information has been getting out, aside from rumors of unsolved cases. This has been going on for years, but the unified government has been turning a blind eye to the whole thing. The Amaterasu Corporation's influence affects not just the UG, but the entire world. Given the situation, the World Detective Organization couldn't wait any longer and decided to act. As a result, Master Detectives are gathering in Kanai Ward. And that's pure speculation, mind you. We won't know the full details until we arrive. I see. Thank you very much. Speaking of, this train is called the Amaterasu Express, isn't it? Yes. The Amaterasu Express is an entirely driverless train developed by the Amaterasu Corporation. The WDO made arrangements to prepare it for arrival at Kanai Ward. Normally, it has no passenger cars for the trip to Kanai Ward, but they added ours as a special exception. It features enough passenger space for all of us and a lavish dining car. Quite the warm welcome. A perfect setup to persuade us nothing is amiss in Kanai Ward. By the way, the windows and doors are completely locked until we arrive. They say it's for our safety. But I feel as though we're stuck in a big, moving coffin. All the sash windows are sealed, so they can't be opened. I, Poochie, confirmed it myself prior to the train's departure. Perhaps these measures were taken, prevent infiltrators or stowaways. Once it's en route, the Amaterasu Express becomes a box that's impossible to enter or exit. If you feel up to it, why don't you take a look around? But you can access the fifth car, the one at the end. The door appears to be broken and won't open. Broken? Well, go ahead and see for yourself. Right. Has anything you heard sound familiar? It feels like my first time hearing about any of it. Sorry. I see. It's all right. Just tell us if you do remember anything. Thank you. He seems nice and all, but maybe he's the imposter! Huh? Hopefully it isn't Zilch. Um, 
Did someone just speak? No. Hey, what's wrong? You've gone pale. How about you have something warm to drink and get some rest? Although we only seem to have coffee here. Do you drink it black? Or do you need some milk? Milk, please. Front probably wants milk. Yep. Hey, how old are you anyway? I can't tell from the way you dress. Never mind him. Here, have a drink to warm yourself up. <sighs> Thank you. What was that voice earlier? Am I hearing things? I have amnesia and now I'm hearing things. What's happening to me? I'm not gonna lie though. If I were in his shoes, I wouldn't I would have pretended to drink the coffee out of sheer paranoia. I wonder if it has something to do with the sixth person. Besides, who is this sixth uninvited guest anyway? I should think about it a bit. Who is the most suspicious person here? As much as I hate to say it, I think Affex is a good person. I think Zange is legit. Zilch, maybe. Of course you're the most suspicious, but the problem is that's a stupid answer. Oddly enough. My choices are either Pushy or Melami. Something just didn't sit right with uh, the interaction. Wait a minute. Zange doesn't want to talk about himself. Is he staying quiet to avoid drawing attention? Could he be the imposter? I don't know anything about his powers, so he is suspicious. No matter how much I think about it, we have no proof of anything so far. If I really am a master detective, I could have some useful powers. I wonder if I can somehow remember what those powers were. Remembering now won't do any good. It is again. I keep hearing that voice. Jeez, what's happening to me? Hey, Runt! Uh-huh? Get over here. The old man is gonna show off his powers. What? Uh, Zange? So it definitely isn't Zange yet. Then... Make it quick, old man. It should be no problem if you're a real master detective. Although I am reluctant to do so, I shall demonstrate my forte. You forced my hand. Otherwise, suspicions will continue to mount against me. What's that? Your cell phone? Quiet. There 
it is again. I can feel Zonga using his forte. As I've said before, my power is photography. I can project my memories onto electronic mediums to generate and record footage. The recorded clip shows what occurred approximately five minutes ago. I suppose it's faster to simply show you. That's definitely the scene that took place about five minutes ago. I can only record about two to three seconds. Back in my prime, I was able to do ten. Also, as memories fade, the recorded footage will also fade. The rule of thumb is that it lasts around 48 hours. But by copying it to another device before it fades, footage can be used as evidence during investigations and in court. Pardon me, but are you sure this is thoughtography? It appears as though you captured footage from a hidden camera. All you do is doubt everybody! Be constructive for once! <laughs> do you think being suspicious isn't constructive? Don't you believe that the truth lies beyond all suspicion? Yep. A detective's job is to suspect others. I'm hearing things again. My memories haven't returned, and the voices keep getting louder. It's giving me a headache. It's like my own body doesn't belong to me. Young man, are you all right? You don't seem well. I'm sorry. I feel a little dizzy. I believe you should rest. Maybe a nap will help get your memories back. The passenger rooms from car 3 and beyond are all full, so you should use car 1 at the front. I believe there's an infirmary in there. It should be easy to monitor from where we're at in the second car. Monitor? You've got some nerve. Will you be alright on your own? Or do you need some company? Sheesh, get a grip, will ya? Sorry. Huh? Did you say something? No, it's nothing. I'm alright. I can get there by myself. I'll allow it. Yes. You allow it. Okay. I can't help but be curious. There might be. Something. Hold on. You're heading toward the third car. Oh, come on. Hey. Yes. Right. S sorry You know, as odd as it sounds, I think I wholeheartedly trust a Ape Apex. For some reason, I think he's definitely someone who's going to be a great bro. It's a map of the... Okay, so something seems to be investigated after. Wait. It's locked. You gotta find the key first. The key! Where is the key? Is it somewhere in the first car? I see, I see. Let's see. If an entire area of the minimap is shining, that means a destination investigation object is there by the thing it comes around. It's in the restroom then.
<gasps> hey! It's time to get up! How long are you gonna sleep? Get up, up, up! Or I'll boon kill you! <sighs> Huh? <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. So you can finally see cute little me. <laughs> it's all taking root. What? Huh? What is this thing? How can you call me a thing when I'm so adorable? Well, aren't you rude? It's talking! Not only am I hearing things, I'm seeing things too? I've completely lost it! Snap out of it! You're my master, aren't you? Master? That's right. We exchanged an intimate secret pact just between us. <laughs> huh? What pact? What? You've forgotten all about how we were so passionately bound together? <laughs> <gasps> how cold of you! After I offered myself to you, and you were... <laughs> oh, this is great! You're so irresponsible. Take ownership of your actions. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Are you kidding? Of course you forgot. That's part of the contract. You don't get a death god for free, you know. If you want to eat, you gotta bring something to the table. Wait. What did you just say? A death god? Shinigami? Call me Shinigami. Wow, what an original name. Death God sounds so ominous and creepy. That ain't my style, you know. I'm too cute for that. I was born too pure and innocent. That's why I prefer to go by Shinigami. Anyway, that's my name. Don't wear it out. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good answer, Master. You keep calling me Master. Wait. Are you haunting me? Please, call me Shinigami. Shinigami? Yup, yup. Of course, I'm 100% haunting you. I'm haunting you, like your life depends on it. That was your wish, after all. That's why we made that contract. That's what I wanted? And for our sweet, sweet contract, you offered something in return. His memories. Offered? <gasps> You mean... You finally got it? You offered your own memories. Intriguing. You tossed away your entire past and smashed our fates together. That's why I have amnesia? The euphoria from completing our contract made you pass out in that room. Even though you woke up, it took some time for me to take root in you. But I can talk to you now, which makes me happy. Which is it? What? Would I make a contract with you? Why did I offer my memories? Sorry, but I can't share the contract's details with you. Those are the rules. Why not? Tell me! No can do. That's the contract. By the way, Master, something's been bothering me. What is it? Two hours have gone by since you passed out. Huh? Two hours? Yep. And here I was, waiting for you to wake up. Admirable, right? I see how that would be an issue. No one came looking for him, so that probably means something happened in the two hour span he was knocked out. But during that time, no one came to check on you. They're all so cruel, you know? Maybe they forgot about you. Speaking of, why am I here? Is this the restroom in the first car? 
That's right. I felt sick at the dining car, so I was looking for the key to the infirmary. You should watch your own health, Master. We share mind and body. When you feel sick, I get irritated too. Your haunting presence is probably why I felt sick in the first place. Hey, don't blame me. Anyway, you better hurry and take a look around. That's right. Where are the others? Uh... You good? You good? <sighs> I don't see any legs or feet, so... Hmm? over me the whole time I can't be separated from you that should be obvious since I'm haunting you okay fair point all I saw was your dumb sleeping face in the restroom I have no clue what happened outside so what happened here hey look look there's smoke coming in through the cracks of the door right is there a fire fire so it's burning? Ah, now I'm getting excited! Excited? We have to do something! Of course I can keep There's a fire extinguisher right there. <coughs> What's going on? Smoke! I, I gotta help! Master, look! <gasps> All right. There's no time to rest. If you're a detective, you know what to do. Huh? Yep. Search the body. You need to confirm if someone is really dead by checking the body. That and also check if it's actually the person you think it is. It could Me? be a fake. Maybe I should ask for help. Why would a detective run from a corpse? I don't know that I'm a detective. Well, you sure are one. Otherwise, you wouldn't have asked for help from yours truly. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? I'll explain it another time. But since you've forgotten, I'll be your mentor and train you to be a proper detective. So get to it. I'm really doing this. Of course. The mystery is practically solved when a detective is first on the scene. <sighs> Investigation. All right. Time to investigate. So, how does this work? It's completely charred. No movement. No breathing either. I can't feel a pulse. The smell of burnt flesh is too much for me. A knife is still lodged in the chest. This is the only knife wound. I don't see any other injuries. Well, how's our corpse doing? Dead, without a doubt. 
Thought so. Kinda charred, after all. You really didn't even need to check. <sighs> Don't be so glum. You had to check the corpse in any case. It's not that. I mean, if I'd noticed sooner... You think you could have saved a life? Forget about it. If you're so worried, try CPR. Though, you'll be tasting soot doing that to such a charred corpse. What's dead is dead. Never let that get you down. Right. I have to tell the others about this. Mm, I smell a cake. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wait a minute. Wait a freaking minute. Can't be normal. Why is... Well... <laughs> That's not gonna help at all. Jamming an IV tube into a charred corpse isn't exactly gonna do anything. Come on. Sh sure. I'll be holding you to death to us, heart. Uh, yeah, sure. Now go verify if I introduce myself to that to someone using that. I mean, I don't get it. Why would I make a contract with the death god? Wait, do they even really exist? Maybe this floating thing is just a figment of my imagination. You wish. Shut up, you're trapped. You memoryless, courageless, brainless detective. This is a nightmare to you, then you gotta use all you got! But... what can I even do? Solve the mystery! That's why I'll be your teacher and mentor. I'll make you a proper detective yet! Just listen to me and everything will be a-okay. First, check the scene of the crime like you did earlier. Now stand up! Come on! Let's see, thicker bottom. This is... <laughs> what a rich fragrance! How about a taste, Master? No! This feels... It's Melanie, all right. She's completely burnt to a crisp. But I recognize what parts are left of her face. There's no pulse or breath. There's a bottle of liquor nearby. Maybe that was used to start the fire. Found two corpses back to back? You sure are reeling them in! <laughs> Talk about beginner's luck! There's nothing lucky about this at all! So, what's the cause of death? Huh? Oh, um, there aren't any obvious external wounds. So she burned to death. 
the other one also got incinerated. Such a cruel way to die. What's going on here? This feels very, very well done. I think... Yeah. This feels very, very well done. I think these might be fakes. What a rich... What a rich... This is... Yeah, that's right! Let's go to the next one! Master, you gotta hurry! Don't rush me, I need to check if there's anything hidden around. It would be nice if I had a run function, by the way. Did it just shake? What now? What was that? The lights went out for a moment and came back on. Oh, it got dark outside. Looks like we're in a tunnel. Anyway, shouldn't you be hurrying? You should probably tell the other master detectives, yeah? Right, that's right. Hey! Is anyone there? We need help in the first two cars! Zonge! Kuchi! Apex! Anybody! Oh. <sighs> No response. I smell a tragedy. This is like the very picture of hell. Woohoo! One mystery after another. I can't hold back from all this excitement. We have to find the others right away. I'm getting excited here! It's a map of the... A Danganronpa reference right at the very start of the game. Kinda makes me wish that was actually Monokuma, I'm not gonna lie. Is this Poochie's bag? Maybe there's a weapon for self defense inside. It'd be good for you to check it out. I'm sorry, Poochie. I'm taking a look inside. There's a change of clothes and travel supplies. No weapons or other self-defense items. It's a wash, then. It was sitting there like a treasure chest, so... I was hoping there'd be a rare metal inside. Why is this happening? Even Poochie... Master, let's move on if you're done here. There's no time to waste. Also, was that a Dragon Quest reference? What? A rare metal. Where's Zonge? And Apex, too. This is... It's 
Kuchi's corpse. I can barely make out what's left of her face. She doesn't appear to have any external wounds. There's a blanket over her torso. Looks like she was burned when the blanket was set on fire. Yep, it's a corpse. Our student assistant. Tim! Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Whose bag is this? Oh, it's open. Is it okay for me to look inside? You're a detective. Why even ask? Detectives search people's bags and cupboards all the time. Smashing pots to find what they want is part of the job. Zelda reference now. Great. That's too much. Notice. World Detective Organization Human Resources. Dear Zilch Alexander, you are hereby dispatched to the special autonomous region of Kanai Ward. Dispatch duration indefinite. Use the enclosed ticket to board the Amaterasu Express to Kanai Ward. Rendezvous with the Master Detectives on site. Upon arrival, proceed to the Nocturnal Detective Agency, World Detective Organization, Kanai Ward Branch. There, you will receive further instructions. Go forth, proud detectives. Eliminate all mysteries from this world. This is a letter for Zilch, so this must be his bag. The only things inside are work documents, nothing else of note. Ah, that's no fun. This is a letter for Zilch. The only things in. Ah. Uh... Interesting quote. Um... This is. Then. This is... Right. Am I missing anything? This isn't a passenger room. The sign says, backup control room. Wow! It looks like a secret base! Don't you want to destroy these whenever you see them? No. There's no one here. So, I should go look for help somewhere else. How about you check out that machine over there? Maybe it'll help you figure out what happened. It's okay, I won't break it. Fine. You just gotta hit this thing and it'll be good as new! Hmm... Right. This is the train map. The shining part must be the train's current location. After we exit this long tunnel we just entered, we'll reach Kanai Ward in no time. It's been a long trip. But I'm sure it's been a shorter one for a certain napping detective. What's this machine? There appears to be instructions. Backup control system? Control system automatically manages the electricity within the train when the main control system does this. The backup system after So the control second. system manages the electricity. This one is the backup. No hey! What about the file over here? What does it say? It looks like an explanation about autonomous driving. The control system will supply electricity as programmed and drive the train. But all train cars on the train have motors that run autonomously. Because of that, it can easily climb steep slopes. Hmm. I guess everything here relies on that control system. So, if you destroy the main and backup control systems, you can stop the train. Right now the control system is functioning, so the train is still moving with no issues. The monitor displays an operation log, but there's no record that the train has stopped at all. Yeah! Master, while well, you were sleeping like a log, I never sense the train stopping either. The doors won't open unless it stops and the windows are all locked. No one can get on or off while it's en route. Huh? 
What's wrong, Master? I noticed the backup control system is operating. Well, it's better that it's running. All the electricity is managed by the control system, after all. Anyway, Master, I'm bored of this place. Let's move on already. Move on because you're bored? an intercom. Yeah, and now I'll report this to control. <sighs> it won't connect. Why? If it doesn't connect during an emergency, it's totally useless. If this system was completely automated, a report should have been sent to control headquarters about the fire. Maybe everyone in control headquarters is already dead. And you're the last living human in the world! <laughs> what a horrible thing to say! Or more than likely, this is all in a the test. end, there weren't any survivors in this train car. You better go check the next one. Yeah, you're right. Let's go to the next one! I gotta admit, this is a nice way to uh, introduce you into a detective game. However, unfortunately, as per usual, uh, if I go any longer, I might go beyond an hour. I don't know. I try to keep these into comeback bits or make them episodic because I think making them too long is more of a bore for people to watch. But, uh,. If you think otherwise, I would appreciate a comment down below to let me know. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. I sincerely hope you enjoyed Master Detective Archives Code Rain. Uh, what you call this? I sincerely hope you will consider giving me a viewership in the future sometime. And please like, comment, or subscribe, depending on whatever the hell you feel like doing. And with that as our ending note, I bid you all fun. Goodbye.